Well, the Minnesota coal is often a big headline here on our News at 10. But tonight, WCCO has a group of families battling cold inside their apartments. Not just this winter, but they say for years. A resident tipped us off to what's going on. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield investigates. Minneapolis is the coldest large city in the country, and this was one of those days. So cold. <laughs> It's so cold. Cold outside and inside Joanna Riser's Nicolette Mall apartment building. Oh. Joanna is a mother of three. Two of her girls have sickle cell anemia. By it being so cold, the balcony ice was in my house. Like ice was all on the balcony. Like I could just break the ice. She says the top floor of her townhouse at Nicolette Towers is consistently warm, but the bottom floor, where the living room and kitchen are, are consistently cold, and her girls are consistently sick. Have you reported it? Yep, they know that it doesn't get hot, cool, I mean hot in here. They even gave me a space heater before. So, so yeah. you've officially let them know you've yeah. complained about it? More than once. It's like you complain so much you get tired of complaining. The building is owned by Volunteers of America, an affordable housing nonprofit. Residents get help paying their rent from HUD, the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development. Joanna is not the only tenant who says she's complained. I don't raise concerns. They came in with the little heat thermometers where they put on the, um, the poles of the heater, and they said it was fine. When we walked into Victoria Lucas's apartment, I don't felt any heat. Mm -hmm. We noticed a cool draft in this heating system. WCCO investigated just how low temperatures would go. On February 12th, we handed out thermometers to three families. Outdoor temperatures dipped to 11 below zero by the next morning. The next day, one home registered 58 degrees indoors, another 45 degrees, and a third read 32 degrees. All temperatures below the indoor standard that the health department uses of at least 68 degrees in the winter. WCCO reported the numbers to HUD in Chicago. We found okay. it consistently cold and wanted okay. to see if HUD had a response. Okay. Let me see what I can find out. It's just a drastic breeze coming through like the Arctic air where I'm shivering just trying to turn on the oven. And the oven is the way she heats her apartment. Keep it in my oven. Turn the oven on on about 400 and let it heat. Joanna uses her oven for heat too. It gets hot in here when I cut this on. But it seems dangerous. It is. In 2015, a fire killed three children in Minneapolis. Investigators believe an oven used for heat sparked the flames. The fire arrest comes at a time when HUD is under scrutiny for a deadly high-rise fire last fall. The cause is still unclear. Building owner Volunteers of America tells us the boiler at Nicolette Towers is working properly and they have no open work orders. After seeing our numbers, they sent this notice to homeowners saying they want to address their heating concerns. In the meantime, Joanna and her girls decided to move to another home. Vicki says she's feeling frozen out, too. I can't afford to move somewhere else now. I shouldn't be forced out of my home because of weather. It should be warm. In Minneapolis, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Late today, both HUD and Volunteers of America told, told us that they are taking action. A spokesperson for Volunteers of America said safety is its top priority and it is closely monitoring the heat. HUD also looked into the residents' complaints after WCCO called. The housing agency says it found one impacted townhouse and will work to fix the problem.